made it to the end of the first day of ITB here in Berlin, and I'm sitting with Anne Rosener from Client Mind. And thank you Hi. for joining us. So you had a keynote today. Tell me about the keynote. What was it about, and uh, what were you sharing with uh, the visitors? Yeah, it was about, and I think you saw this in the U.S. as well. There, it was about onlineers going into into retail, in, into brick and mortar, and is that a trend or not? And is it? Um, there are a lot of people, especially after Amazon acquired Walmart, a lot of pe uh, acquired okay. Whole Foods. <laughs> um, a lot of people were saying, yes, there might be a trend. Probably that is hope that it is a trend. I don't see a trend there. There are totally different reasons for them going online and uh, going into the... Uh, I thought, uh, there, there are many reasons for them going into the brick and mortar business, but it's not that they see their core business there. And I also think everything is cyclical, right? So, you know, you had a physical business, they went online, Amazon was online bookstore, you know, so it kind of makes sense in some ways, do you think? I think it is, if, if we focus on Amazon for a moment, acquiring Whole Foods, was had a good reason. I think they they saw a lot of business or still see in the e-grocery area, and for them acquiring Whole Foods makes uh, made sense from a logistics standpoint. And of course, they learn a lot about the customer. And what you now see, uh, they are using their their Prime uh, Visa card and offer 5% discount for Huge. customers, which is a lot. A lot of money. For, for them, it is not the 5%. They are probably not making money there, but they are getting so much data that they probably could use in other business areas as well. And of course, they, they, uh, they get new prime customers, which is very important for them. Yeah, 5% is pretty much the margin of groceries. I, <laughs> if, if I, even that I, much. I don't know in the US, <laughs> but, I, I, but I think that is the same, yeah. So the data piece is really kind of why this you think I makes I sense. I think it is really, I don't see a trend. I think it's really being there where the customer is. And the second piece, I really think it's all about data. That is so important with all the cust customers who are going into the brick and mortar business, yes. And it's in some ways, you know, I think uh, interesting to figure out, you know, is it also just being top of mind, you know, that I, I'm nearby, a, you know, especially in China where I could walk by and go book my travel or something. Do you think it's like basically about being in, what am I trying to say? Let me retake that question. Is there a part of brick and mortar stores that help brands with the awareness of their own brands, you know? So as they're walking down the street, they see the brand and they want to engage with it. Is there that sort of branding aspect as well? I I think branding is important and it's especially important in the online business as well because otherwise your marketing costs are going through the roof. Um, but if you look at the smart online players, yes, they are probably going brick and mortar, but they are, they are playing this in other channels as well. A lot of them are very strong in newsletter marketing and it is not sending out a newsletter it is really sales sales medium this newsletter they are pretty good in in blogs things like that i think you need to play a whole range of different tools to build your brand and if you look at the strong players there they are not only strong in online and brick and mortar they have a lot of a lot of other things they are playing so you find your areas of weakness and kind of shore them up a little Absolutely. bit. Absolutely. But if you would like to see that, oh, this is now a new renaissance of the brick and mortar, you probably see it. But you need to see the whole picture or need to observe the whole picture. And one of those, a big part of the picture is China. We had discussed this a little bit. Yes. Uh, you know, many of these larger travel companies opening thousands of locations, not, you know, just, just a massive amount of brick and mortar. Uh, how, what, have, what have you learned from China? What, what is the takeaway here as China grows? Uh, we were just talking about this portfolio of, of uh, different tools that you are uh, using to, to grow your business. And I think China is an excellent example for that. If you look at WeChat, what they are really doing. They are not only a tool to communicate. They have this whole, these finance tools, they are a retail tool, they are a marketing tool. And I, if you look at China, they are play, uh, playing this pret, uh, pretty smart. And I'm not quite sure if you have um, read some articles about the singles day that they had in China. This was a whole social media range in addition to 
to the whole online sale. And they had, uh, they had really events on stage, they had, had events in social media, they had events online, and this was very well connected. And this is building brand. And this is really, yes, creating excitement to the consumer. And that is what this is all about. To create excitement about the brand, about, about certain products, and by this convincing the consumer to buy. And it makes an experience that they'll always remember and always come back to, and Absolutely. that's branding, right? Absolutely. And we were talking a little bit about the Silicon Valley and then having probably Shanghai or China. There are a lot of companies here in Germany who think, oh, we need to travel to Silicon Valley to learn about uh, more about digital businesses, things like that. I think if I had a big retail store here in Germany, I would go uh, to China to learn much more about that because they are so much more advanced in certain areas. How to create excitement uh, in, in front of the customer. And we're learning a little about that, a little bit about that at some of the keynotes here at ITB. But Absolutely. It's a big yeah. topic we could keep talking about forever, it seems. Yeah. Well, thank you so much for joining us. Thank you. And there will be more clips tomorrow from the second day of ITB in Berlin. Thank you.